Something isn't right in this game with the religion. I feel bad getting a religious victory with only one other person making one. I think it's something to do with the great people. I don't know why, but nobody seems to be making them. So all the prophets are still there, nobody's jumping on them. Fine, I could get a religious victory very easily. All I'd have to go is go and take Egypt's religion out, which I'm kind of doing for the fun of it, but it's not really the same, is it? So what I've been deciding is science victories. I've done enough of those recently and diplomacy as well. I'm going to go for culture. So what we're going to use is I'm going to use my unfathomably large amount of gold to produce theater squares, amphitheaters, wonders, everything that's going to make me wonderfully cultural. I think it should be, it should be good. Free trader in the city and also an extra trader at capacity. That's the sort of thing that we like to see. Lovely stuff. And without me even trying, Egypt has offered me my first book. Hooray! Ah, oh, it's just the one, but it's gorgeous. Let's see if I can purchase actually some relics. Do they exist in this game? They do. The Book of Throth. Thank you, Sumeria. That's beautiful. Oh, lovely. Taking a slight tack change and going for Armani in Chinguetti. Now this should hopefully keep the Aztecs at bay. I really would like that plus one faith for every follower in the city. It's going to give me a bunch of passive faith that I can use to have a bunch of fun. Housing. Housing is the problem though. You know what? I think, I think I'm going to have to go monarchy to get the housing from the walls because if I don't do that then none of my you know none of the cities have enough housing to actually get to seven population and if I don't get to seven population I can't build theater squares my hand is forced I would love absolutely love to go theocracy but I can't that's amazing I did not expect that to happen right we're gonna have to do that and we're gonna have to go limes and basically just wall up wall like crazy World Congress time, and I would love it if I could culture bomb. I don't think I'm going to be able to. We've also got the resource one, so let's have a quick look at it, and you can see that gypsum is right up there, but so is silver. So I'm actually going to put my vote down on silver. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, like that. Maybe that'll go through. No, no to diamonds, and curtain gets them. I didn't have any voting power there, so you know what? That's understandable. I have to say, this map is incredible. It just sort of goes on and on and on and on. And so much of it is just totally pointless that you kind of look at, like I look at all this desert and I'm like, oh wow, that's really cool. But then you realize, no, I can't use any of it. So it's not cool at all. It's just desert. I love it. Like I'm having so much fun on this one. It's, it's, I, I can't tell you. And we are still somehow though producing new cities. <laughs> it's just quite, it's quite entertaining really. I love it. The only problem with new cities is that they don't grow very quickly because there's nothing to chop. Normally, you can chop a couple of rainforests or woods or marshes down to make the city just sort of swell in size almost instantaneously, but not in this case. It's appalling. Okay, time to massively annoy Egypt. As I say, I'm not going for a religious victory, but I just can't help myself. I can't help myself just going into Egypt's lands and going, you know what? Let's see what religion you've got. And how quickly I can get rid of it all. Oh, Egypt's population is suffering. Look at that. Two, two, and four. As good as Egypt are with floodplains and rivers, when you don't have those floodplains, they're not very good in the desert. I'm looking forward to seeing what Australia does there. As soon as they get their outback stations, I'm expecting them to really, really push out. Babylon again. Two populations seems to be all the cities can manage. Uh, Lagash is actually on 9 population. Wow, the deity plus plus really coming to its own there. But I mean, look, it, it, Australia is still on 168 science, so they're massively leaning into the campuses. It's almost like a challenge game. There is civil service. Now, that means that my Nazca line should be giving food to flat tiles, which includes the Oasis, which are now giving me a lot more food. So that's good. We need to keep an eye on flat desert, beeline for it while we can, and make sure that our Nazca lines are absolutely everywhere. Like, for instance, this tile is a really good example where we can just go bump like that, and suddenly there's loads of extra food there. I can now also get banks in for 460 faith. I believe it's probably worth using monumentality first before I do that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around Make sure all my cities have got builders and that we are basically using every single flat desert that we can. I want Nazca lines absolutely everywhere. 
going to be a massive faith purchase. Increases trade route capacity by one, and uh, trade routes to city states now give me two faith. Perfect. He's really good. We like him a lot. I know that I've beelined to banking. It's difficult to know what to do. <laughs> um, I guess we just get regular text for a bit. Bump, 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 like that. I can't think of anything else we would need to run towards apart from like all the way down to replaceable parts or something similar. So now let's just tech up on the low stuff. Oh no, sorry. It's food to all desert and desert hill tiles. I mean, yeah, well, that just, just makes my point even better. I really need as many of these things as I can get my mitts on. Right, let's start annoying Egypt. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to get grievances with you. I appreciate that, but it's just too good. I'm going to get an alliance with Gilgamesh. Let's go for a cultural alliance. No, he doesn't like that. Scientific? Yay! That's better. Sometimes people just really want one sort of alliance over another. It's very strange. What about a religious alliance? Nope. Military? Nope. Economic? Nope. Cultural? Yes! See that they want a cultural alliance. Very odd. Now there's going to be a lot of tile buying here now. A huge amount. But it's worth it because every Nazca line improves my food, helps me to grow. I really, really need that because I need theatre squares everywhere now. Like, look at some of these tiles. Bam, bam, like this. It's going to be a bam, Nazca line. Fortunately, the Dead Sea can't get food, which kind of makes sense. I would be more surprised if it could. Oh my god, an actual tundra tile. Oh, yes, I have spices. I never thought I'd see the day in this desert game that I would have such an amazing tile. Sorry, Egypt. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm not that sorry. I'm really not that sorry. The one thing you do have to remember with Nazca lines is obviously you can't work the actual line tile itself, but normally it doesn't matter because even with a bunch of Nazca lines around, those desert tiles are going to be nigh on worthless compared to these hill tiles, which are just glorious. This great merchant gives me an envoy and 200 gold. This one gives me a governor title. Lovely stuff. I'm into Renaissance era merchants. We've basically just earned all of them by now. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't you love it when you're good at something. Like, genuinely, like, something is doing okay. And luckily for me, people are getting the writers as well. None of the writers have been missed. Renaissance era for everything. So, there's going to be enough great works in the game for me, hopefully, to abuse this royally when we get going. This gives me my worship building, plus three faith as well. Bam! Okay, it's not worth a huge amount, but it just stops the Aztecs from getting in as well, which is quite important. My entire game, seemingly, is just to sort of stop the Aztecs from doing anything, really. Oh, look at that one. That one has three lines around it. It's just a desert hill. Three food, two production, four gold, three faith. Yummy. Just, just an absolute load of yum. Oh, I was just about to say, that's atrocious for me. But, uh, nope. Not for me. That's Nazca. Call an ambulance, but not for me. You know, you, you get the meme. It's fine. Monarchy time. That's more important. Crown me a king. I will rule over you with horrible, horrible ruthlessness. Scripture. Uh, and that needs to be done. Yep, yep, that lovely of a Republican legacy is really important too. Right. I have a silly amount of like 20 gold per turn on trade routes. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, right. Military policies. Here we go. This is more important. I'm going to pick up the limes card. So that I can get more walls. Walls are good. Walls are fun. Walls are walls are fantastic. And then I'm going to sell iron to people. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Now that I've got that, Vissel Banking is where I want to be. Uh, Guilds as well gives me the Travelling Merchants card, which is kind of a bit pointless, but still. So I managed to get three of Egypt's cities following my religion. It wasn't enough to convert them, but it's enough to make them really annoyed. <laughs> Are you at war with Chingati? If you take that over, Babylon, I'm going to be disappointed with you because I am getting a lot of faith, a lot of faith from those trade routes. I do not want to see that go down. Oh my god, look at this tile. Oh yes, that's uh, five food, four production, three gold, six faith. Oh my goodness, I and mean, just just have a look at this for a second. I oh, don't because I clicked away. <laughs> oh. I want to see the yields. Show me the yields. I want to, There we go. Right. Da, 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 da. Look at that. That's a screenshot right there, isn't it? Like, Petra Paradise. Oh, 
I haven't even improved it fully yet. Time to get castles now. Okay, better walls. The better walls we can get, it just, it just becomes more and more awesome. Sugar birds are just being put down as well. I'd rather get rid of the mine than a Nazca line. That's the ridiculous thing about this build at the moment. My mines are amazing, but the Nazca lines, oh yes, they are something. I'm in a golden age, and for once, somebody else is as well. Manatori. Okay, perfect. What are we going to do then? Now, if... <laughs> This is the thing, I really, 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 really wanted to go for a religious victory. But it's just broken today, so that's not going to be a thing. So I'm not going to go for Exodus. That would be ridiculous. I could go for Form the Coinage, that would be an amazing pickup. I like Monumentality though, using my faith for more settlers and for builders helps me just to pull my infrastructure together. Reform the Coinage would let me kind of, uh, I don't know, just get more gold to buy all the great works, but I'm a little bit behind that point right now, so this is good. Um, I can now actually build the theatre square in this city, which is a lovely thing, and we're going to do that. Actually, the Chingretti wants, <laughs> they want the reek of the mass production in order to get back on side. It's like, how do I tell them that, that there are no, there are no woods in this world? In fact, actually, are there? Do woods exist in this world? Oh my god, they do. They do. Oh, and Australia has, like, all of them. <laughs> Fair play. There are woods in this world. They're just, like, on the on the poles. I don't own any of these woods. I love spending faith. Look at that. Just a bank. Economics boosted. I know. I know. Another one there. Another one there. Mmm. Banks. I think I can just get a temple there. And there's a mosque. It's just lovely. It's just so chill, just sitting back. I've got 548 faith per turn at the moment. Oh, imagine if we were playing Void Singers. Oh, I am actually, I, you know, I almost can't imagine it. It would be too good, and I'm a little bit annoyed that we're not doing it. <laughs> so I'm just going to ignore that for now. But oh my goodness, could you imagine? Town Charters. Oh, that's a card. That's a card. Actually, I've got enough builders at the moment, so I'm just going to go for... There we go, Town Charters at the moment, 39 more gold per turn. Oh, 600 gold, yes. Yes, 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 it's all wonderful. And there's Diplomatic Service, just as the Doctor ordered. Oh, I think I just picked up a city. Oh, nice, actually that's really handy. Hello, Let's get a trader in there, a builder in there. It hasn't got as many charges as I should have, but you know what, that's fine. We don't mind that at all. Oh, what a city. First amphitheater bought. Okay, now this is more exciting. Babylon, here we go. That's a, an alliance. Do you want a military alliance? Yeah, they do. Lovely stuff. Now, who wants to sell me some books? I'd buy tobacco from you any day. Booksy, 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 booksy. Any books for me? Yes, a Manatori will sell me some books. Lovely stuff. Okay, um, I want two of them and I'll pay you up in cash because it's cheaper. Lovely. Here you go, Mike. We've got three books now. Amazing. Now this is why this city is so good for me. Look at this. Two sources of gems and a gypsum and an oasis all surrounding a Nazca line. Boom. That's going to be a big old city before they know it. Nice. Admittedly though, I did not want to see that. That, that is a lot of trebuchets. Where are those going, Aztecs, eh? Where are they going? Diplomatic Service gives me Visselbanken. And when that all goes through and works itself out, you'll see... But I've got a lot of extra food and production from my roots. Oh, that's good. That is good. That's good. That's good. Right. I'm just waiting for my cities to tick over into seven population. It's a huge difference for me. As soon as they do, theatre squares can go down immediately. So diplomatic services there. Humanism is the next one that I want. I've got a lot of different sources of culture coming in now, which is good. Kamasi, I've got to keep an eye on. I would love to take Kamasi for a spin if I could get my hands on it. Fantastic city-state, that one. Here is my unique cavalry, which I'm putting in my random tiny city in the middle of nowhere, just purely because ugh, there are some muskets. Bloody muskets. Oh, Jingati. Okay, perfect. That's good. Right, that's that city-state done. That gives me my faith back. Oh, 729 faith per turn. I've got one envoy in reserve as well, just in case. Just in case it disappears again. I'm not having it. Trade routes to my own cities gain extra gold. Ah, okay, not really my cup of tea, but I'll do it. So many trade routes. So many trade routes. So little time. And that 
is Divine Architect, which is useful, but also Patron Saint, which is the one that lets me get Apostles with two promotions. I'll do that for now, and then we'll go from there. Maybe. Maybe I'll need it in a little bit. I mean, I'm, I'm sort of still hoping. Oh look, Nubia's getting one. I, I think what I'll do is, if I get to a stage where every single religion in the game has been taken, then I'll go for a religious victory. Then, then I think like it's fair. It's fair game. Might might take a while to get to that point though. That is the only problem. Got some Renaissance walls coming in now. That is a useful thing. And oh look, seven population cities. Huzzah! Right, let's get the theater squares in. Again, I think weirdly enough, it's it's the it's the hill tiles are the ones that I'm going to sacrifice first. Oh, another city, another city. Oh my goodness! I mean, I don't know what the Aztecs are doing, but they are just flinging them at me at the moment, and I, I love it. I will take that any day of the week. Perfect. Now, one problem I've got is that there is nitre under every single flatland desert tile I've pretty much got a Nazca line on. I'm going to have to choose between Nazca Lines and Nitre. Now, in a lot of the cases, like this one isn't really improving much. So I'm going to get rid of the Nazca Line and get the mine. Because I believe this stuff sells decently on the market. Let me just quickly... Is anyone buying iron anymore? No, there's enough iron on the map. Uh, yeah. Okay, so Nitre does sell. Good to know. Good to know. And, oh, my Diplomatic Favor really sells as well. That's also good to know. Otherwise, what you find me doing is just borrowing Rublev with 2,900 faith. Bam. Gives me Era score, but also the boost towards humanism. I'm just about to unlock art museums in my capital and also in my second city over by the Dead Sea. That should give me a lot of space for artwork very quickly. In fact, now these Nazca lines are kicking in. Look, one, two, three, four cities are now building theatre squares, and a fifth will join in next turn, and a sixth in three turns. Well, hey! Oh, thank goodness, we are now going to start cruising into the culture territory now. This, this should be good. Now, as good as this extra gold is, I'm actually going to... Do I pick up frescoes? That'll give me more artist points. You know what? No, I'm just going to... I'm going to use my gold to actually just buy other people's art think that's a better option for me. There's the art museum. Boom! Opera and ballet has been boosted and Rublev can start being popped in. That is fantastic. Amphitheatre done. Art museum done. Cleopatra does not like me at all, but she should, in theory, sell me the uh, there we go, statues in this particular case. That's good. I want to be taking it all from Egypt if I can get away with it. And this merchant gives me three envoys. That's really handy. I think we're going to go on a little trip to Kamasi, wherever that is. I think it's quite a long way away. But luckily, I have this random city in the middle of the desert. An aid request. Okay, yep, no, I could get involved in that. That sounds good. I wonder what happened to Babylon. Something terrible, no doubt. Oh, actually, look at that. Oh. Apart from one city, which has been flipped, all of these cities are still following my religion. That's just amazing to see. Oh, I just found Auckland as well. Yeah, I did put Auckland in the map. I remember putting them in because I was like, well, if C is one respite from the desert, then I can make it even better. But I think Kamasi's got to be the... It's got to be the higher priority for me right now. Instantly builds a bank and market in the district that can hold... Two great work slots. I mean, the bank, that, I mean, that's that's amazing. We're going to rush that one through. I don't like rushing merchants through when I've got 32 points coming in per turn, but that's a really, really good wonder, and I would quite like it as quickly as possible. Yeah, I'm popping it in my capital. Seems counterintuitive, but I'm just about to promote Pingala into the curator, which gives him double tourism in my capital. So it makes sense to have as many works as possible in my capital, and me thinks. Lovely. Nope, I just that's not my capital at all. That is though. Huzzah. I changed my mind about frescoes. I'm putting it in. I have so many museums now. I'm going to really start to pick those up quickly. Especially because with this, I can pick up a wonder. Okay, I think Patala Palace does seem like a decent wonder for me, actually. I could use as many policy slots as I can get. I can't think of another better one at this precise moment. So... Let's just plonk you there. That's lovely. 29 turns, and then we'll rush that pretty quickly. The letter. Oh, hello. Now, that's going to be a good late game source of faith. Beautiful stuff. Okay, okay, we're keeping an eye on that. We're keeping an eye on that. 
I'd love it if we could condemn Catholicism, that would be entertaining, and I'd love it as well if religious trade routes went through as something awesome. Can we do that? Yes! Man okay, I think I get even more faith now from my trade routes. Perfect. I think I might have just lost Chingeti though. No, I haven't. It's still there. Oh, for whatever reason, it's just not its not pulling through the faith properly. Plus nine. Now you see that it's still going good. Now, okay, now the Aztecs, I am keeping an eye on these guys. I, I don't trust them not to attack me. I've got such a huge amount of faith and gold that I can summon pretty decent like units to, to defeat them if I need to. So I'm not bothering to keep too large a standing army because of that. They have 1,500. I'm, I'm not going to beat it. But I am keeping an eye on them. I don't trust them not to attack me, in, in short. Gain 200 gold and two envoys, you say? That's a lovely combination. Beautiful. That actually gives me six envoys to throw. I could just go and get Kamasi immediately. I'm still having hilarious fun. Oh, where would you be with this great merchant? I cannot get him close to Kamasi because of the amount of barbs in this area. And you know what, Kamasi is so important, I'm actually just going to shove them all in and go bump. Okay, that gave us 50 culture per turn. 50. Blimey, that is powerful. Writers, artists, we're starting to pick everything up now. And it's great to see. Really, really good to see. Certain. Opera and ballet, you say. Hmm. Okay, it gives me approximately nothing, but that's, that's fine. I could get symphonies, but I haven't unlocked... Uh, broadcast centers yet, so I'd rather keep with the policy that I've got. I've got 32 artist points coming in per turn at the moment. That is pretty good. Oh, for goodness sake. Every time I bring my merchant onto land, there is a barb. I kid you not. Right, I'm going somewhere else. We're going to go to the letter instead. <laughs> I just I just can't be bothered. Oh, that's a few spare envoys. That's good. That means we should be able to pick up the letter. Well, hey. Right. Now, this is handy. Uh, my capital is going to be pretty much done, but there are other cities that can build Renaissance walls up. You know what? I don't need to rush this through, actually. Maybe for new cities, this might be a really good thing to do. But for cities I've got, I think this is probably fine at the moment. I think I've done that thing where I've expanded plentifully and I don't really need to go any further. That's It's, it's kind of the boring stage of the game. This desert map is not good for just pointless expansion. It doesn't really work like that. Now, I think I'd rather use my faith on, like, writers, for instance. That would be good. Let's get Shakespeare in like that. Lovely. Man, if we have the Oracle, now that would be, that would be something I'd get very excited about if we had the Oracle as well. Themed art in my capital. Well, hey, what a day. What a day to be me. Turn 156 now, and I have collected quite a bit of art. Look at all this. This is just because I'm earning 800 gold per turn. I can just go around and just buy it all up. It's wonderful. I can even get the first musician that I've ever got as well, just to really spice things along a bit. It's lovely. I might as well get an archaeological museum. At Look at creation. that. That gets me natural history boosted. Lovely stuff. Conservation now. That'll give me tourism from all the walls I've stuck up, which is quite a few. I have a, I have a lot of walls. That's two theatre square projects finishing in one turn. I'll have a look and see what that did to the great people points in a second. But there's Batala Palace. Diplomacy policy card. What did I just say? Diplomacy policy slot. Goodness me, that's a mouthful. All you need to know is it's good. Okay? It's good. And 64, 78, 48. That's a lot of great people points per turn. Excellent stuff. You know what? Ugh. What, whatever. It's all good. It's all good. Oi, Kamasi, get back here, you. Get back here. Recruit a great admiral. Oh, I'm so going to do that next turn just out of spite. There you go. There you go. Told you I would. I did it. I, I don't even know what a harbour is. I, I don't even own a harbour. But I was like, yep, I'm going to get one of those. That sounds... He sounds great. I imagine... Where will he be? I, you know what? I have actually no idea where he's gone. Oh, over here. Okay, yeah, sure. I mean, my capital actually should be able to make a harbour, thinking about it, and it probably isn't a bad idea. I'm going to stick it there, like so, and then hopefully there are some wonders still for me to do if I wanted them. Colossus, great lighthouse. I mean, yeah, well, there we go. There's two wonders right there for us. But that's Kamasi back on track. Good for you, friend. And Geneva, bump. I just won them. That'll give me 15% science. 
Ah, lovely stuff. Okay, so I'm on 159 science and 350 culture, and I've just tipped above 100 tourism per turn. We're not really even started yet. The question I've got in my head is, can I build a biosphere in a desert? What it says is it must be built along a river adjacent to a neighborhood. It doesn't say anything about desert. So in theory, I could plonk a neighborhood on that tile and a biosphere on this tile? No, the river ends there. Hmm, okay. Okay, right, we'll have to think about that. I might need to wait until an engineer pops up that I can rush it with, but I think it's probably a good idea because I can replace a lot of my mines with wind turbines and solar farms, so there's a lot of scope here. Don't you love it when a theatre square is done? Look at that. Tasty, tasty, tasty. Happy theatre. And an art museum. We're just going to keep getting art museums. Why not? I'm still focused on purchasing great works where I can rather than making my own. I feel like that's the best. It's the best idea because I'm sort of limiting other people's culture first. It's expensive, but I think it's better doing it this way. I'm pretty sure because look, one five four culture means that Egypt is currently the culture leader. Only by a little bit, but she is. I do, however, have a lot of artists being produced. So that's really cool. I'm producing everything that I could need. Just as I say, building other things first, buying other people's art first. And it's all good. Oh, good. That was a domestic route. I was just waiting for that to finish. I'm slowly starting to spread routes to everybody else around the map now. Luckily, this crazy little settlement being over here, very handy. Very handy for sending routes to people that I don't normally... Well, I can't normally. Modern era in turn 164, 1030 AD. That's pretty cool. And conservation. Suddenly, now our Destroying walls are really, rainfall. really interesting. Huzzah. People love walls. I mean, I don't complain. I can't complain at all. I can see exactly why they would like a good wall. But that's 177 tourism now. I was on 100. So, yeah, these walls have got to keep being popped up. I think a city with ancient, medieval, and renaissance gets six tourism, which is pretty cool. And that is the Sydney Opera House. I'm beelining heavily, but if I can build the Sydney Opera House in my capital, that would be some extra music slots, which I need hugely. Oh, Asta, amazing. Hello, friend. I need to find some other things, like Cinquetti. Look, they keeps my, my city-states keep getting stolen. He would do that. Economics, that is the stock exchange. This is a little bit of a funny building because Basically, it's brilliant. I mean, it's awesome. Plus four gold and then plus seven gold, which is 11. But, 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 it's got to be powered. And I don't think I know what electricity is, really. We haven't under <laughs> Yeah, industrialization, we haven't discovered. It's so rare that I boost and beeline economics before going into electricity. Very odd game, this. Love it, though. I haven't even got machinery. I know how to buy and sell Twitter stock, but I have no idea what a crossbow is. What a world. How are we actually doing on tech? Oh yeah, I am falling behind. 32 tech versus 42 for Babylon, 39 for Arabia, 38 for Gilgamesh, 37 for Australia, 36. I am very much in the sort of like third pack really behind everybody else, but I haven't built any campuses. So that, I mean, that could be why. That, that really could be why. I have a thousand faith coming in per turn at the moment, and I think the best thing to do is to focus on tourism to start with. So anywhere that can do walls, that is the priority at the moment. If I can get these in, that boosts my tourism. That's all lovely. It takes about 600 faith for a city to be pumped completely. It also means that they can be building better things. Like that mosque actually was worth a lot of faith per turn. So, yeah. I, I should have probably not been hard building those walls, but never mind. But that's where I'm going to be throwing my faith to start with. The tourism will hopefully start to increase a lot quicker now. So we have a trade route to Mali, Arabia, Australia, and that's Gilgamesh and Montezuma. So I believe we haven't got one to Egypt. We haven't got one to Babylon. That's it. Babylon and Egypt. Now I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get one to Babylon. Yes, I can from maybe a couple of like, like where are these cities? Over here. Oh, that's a strange one. Oh, hang on. There's loads of cities that can do it. Ah, uh, okay, right, so this one, this, that's a good one, but none to Egypt. Okay, fine. We've got to start spreading around a bit more and go and find an Egypt-friendly city. I'm thinking, actually, this little tiny desert island, quite literally, in the middle of this huge desert. That would be fun. I kind of stopped spreading around, but I've got so much gold at the moment, and three turns, oh yeah, shite, three turns to get six zero score. Oh, thank goodness I saw that. Now, I think we can force this. 
we should be able to force this with a little bit of faith and a little bit of just sort of ugh. As long as I buy a great person that's got less than half the points, I'll get three euro score doing it. So getting this artist in, Rembrandt, with gold, is an effective way of doing that. We'll go blomp, like that. Three era score. Okay, that takes me to 162. I've got two turns now to get a little bit more. I could also faith purchase Mary Shelley in. That would give me Frankenstein and Last Man, which is cool. But it also gives me one era score. The question is whether or not I could pick up somebody a little bit better. I don't know. We'll we'll hang hold fire for a second on that one. Three points left and one turn. It's got to be on this turn. And I'm wondering, have we got our first boat yet? Did we do that? I have no idea. On the waves. We have done that. Oh, we got it for a great admiral. Oh, how, how dull. How dull. <laughs> Somehow we haven't actually finished a splendid commercial hub. That's a bit embarrassing. Oh, a naturalist. Oh, that would have been good. That would have been a good thing to do. Didn't do that, did I? Mmm... Okay, 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 okay. Right, like, actually, we need to start looking out for that. That could be a really good thing, National Parks. Lots of immunities. I've got huge amounts of unworkable mountains. And I'm really not going to be putting campuses around them, let's be frank. I have never made anything out of horses. And I have never made anything out of nitre. So there are purchasing options for me there. I'm going to pick up Mary Shelley. That's one point. I'm going to upgrade one of my muskets. That should give me one more point. Yep, there we go. Using nitre for the second, or first time, I should say. Horses do not exist on this map. I mean, of course they don't. It's a desert map where the poor thing's going to live. <laughs> I mean, this is where maybe having, like, Canada involved would have been a really good idea. If I levy Nazca's army, is that going to do it for me? Yes, that was it. Army levied plus one. Very good. Very good. We've got the golden edge for you. I was worried we weren't going to get it for a second there. Just a second though. I, I was confident. I was relatively confident, he says. <laughs> relatively being the good word there. So Manatory has popped Hinduism down. We're going to keep an eye on this. As I said before, if all of the prophets get popped down, then I will end up doing something with them. But as I say, I'm avoiding getting a religious victory because I just don't think the game is doing it properly. No more monumentality. We spread enough. There's no really any need for any more cities. We're doing fine on that front. I think instead this time we're going to go for reform the coinage. This I'm hoping should give me a, well, a few more gold per turn. About 100 gold per turn that gave me. But also it means that my traders can't be pillaged, which is very handy. I love being able to faith purchase in districts. It's awesome. But when you can do it with theatre squares and then go, okay, now I have an amphitheatre. And, uh, oh, actually art museum I can't afford. Thank you, Babylon. Let's just quickly go and do this. There we go. There's an art museum as well. It's just satisfying. It's like, ba-da. Now shipwrecks have appeared. Sydney Opera House has appeared. Heritage tourism. 100% tourism from great works of art. We will have a look at that momentarily. I'm just building the Colossus. After I've done that, I can afford to get the Sydney Opera House. It's going to be very expensive, but I think it's worth it. Beeline and cultural heritage. So now I should go and do more reasonable things because environmentalism is 10 civics away. Oof. I am not going for theocracy. As mentioned before, I need the housing from monarchy. So as really good as that faith purchasing would be, I just needed that extra housing. Otherwise, my cities weren't going to grow. Uh, I might be able to switch back in a second, but for now, it's okay. Civil engineering will do, though. That's that's a good pickup. Colossus. Best bit about Colossus. Apart from the tourism, the is the plus one trade route capacity. I'm much really surprised this hasn't been built. The Great Lighthouse wasn't built either, and I suspect all of the desert preferences are causing the AI to ignore harbours, which is sensible considering all the seas are landlocked, but there you go. Ooh, 15 population for the first time. I think it's because everyone else is trying to eat sand and we're like, mmm, sand, isn't that great? <laughs> oh dear, Kamasi actually wants a trade route, so I'm going to pop that in there, but there was a huge amount of decent trade routes in my capital there. That's perfect, so let's just quickly go and get those traders. Om nom 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 nom. Three more in my capital, that'll really rush through Sydney Opera House. I believe I've still got Bissell Bank, and of course I do. Amazing! So I have now done the good thing and every single one of my cities has every faith purchase it can get apart from stock exchanges. Now stock exchanges are going to be a little bit weird because I have no electricity. So do I build them first? 
that's the question. I've got a huge amount of merchant points coming in at the moment. That's really rushing through all the great merchants and stock exchanges, quite frankly, will boost that by a factor of a million. It won't really. It's probably like by 20%. <laughs> but, but the thing is, the other thing I can do is to get national parks. And actually, national parks are probably a really good option for me. Good thing about all this desert and all of this mountain is that there's a lot of very high appeal areas. However, it's not just uniformly uh, high appeal. There, there are so a lot of areas that are kind of a bit like 50-50 here. But dear, it's a good city. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get myself one naturalist. We'll zoom out a bit and just see, is anywhere being suggested to me? No. No. And it's going to be a little bit hard to put these things down because I have been very aggressive on my purchasing of tools, my, my improvement of tiles, but we should go and do that in a second. As much as it pains me, I'm going to pick Heritage Tourism over Frescoes. I'm generating so much gold and faith I can just buy out the great artists quickly. That's now going to improve my tourism somewhat. Am I now on the way to getting Culture Victory? Not quite yet, no. i to keep working on it. Well, that's interesting. My scout just got shot by a ranger, but it only did about 30 damage to me. And it's because my scout has 55 melee strength when he's on the sea, but only 10 when he's on land. I, I, it doesn't make much sense, that, but it's like, sure, I will take that game. Thank you so much. First National Park, anyway. Boom! This will help to protect me, give me a lot of extra amenities, but almost... Well, basically, the, the main thing is all the extra tourism as well, which is awesome. There's another park I can do, actually, in this city as well. So, hello, naturalist. A new governor. Goodness me, I do not remember the last time I earned so many merchants in a game. This is... It's amazing remembering what all the merchants do. Normally, the, the AI is so much better at getting them than I am. And that's not even because I'm, like, not good at it. It's more just I just forget. Always forget. Like, Rainer is actually the next one I want to pick up. Getting so many governors, I don't know what to do with them. Second national park in the same city, boom, and they are right next to each other, which is just the best thing. Otherwise, yeah, the problem with deserts is you'll get good mountain ranges. I mean, it's like these tiles only have plus one. What do I do with them? What can I do with them? I can't build a forest there. I have to use districts to improve it. It's odd. Oh, actually, look, I'm finding areas, but there are, there are plenty, plenty of cities that can do this. I say that, actually. I have improved quite a few tiles. Hmm. Okay, right. Well, that city may not be as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I'm sure the naturalist will go somewhere else. And finally, a very special shout-out goes to Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Matthew Wilkinson, Salty Tech, Davalex, Trevor Daskby, Paul Coffey, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, and Matthew Hatch. For all of your support and for everybody that generally helps the channel to thrive, thank you all very much. See you next time!